Maximum body weight for women. Height, 5 foot 0, 100 pounds. Up to 5 foot 7, 124 pounds. Nothing after that. Women shouldn't be too tall. I'm gonna be honest, I think that if a woman is less than a foot shorter than me, she can probably be a little over half my weight and still be healthy. You know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, and not, women shouldn't be too tall. What, like, women have a choice in how tall they are? Special thank you to my YouTube members, Holly Miller and Sebastian Dorendorf, and to my patron, McPuffin, for supporting my channel and supporting my content. Thank you so much, guys. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another subreddit video. Today, we are returning to r slash bad women's anatomy, because people be getting women's anatomy pretty bad. Let's get into the subreddit, shall we? Well, he cuts off his dick and balls, thus giving him a vagina. Then he switches to a woman and plays with it, and switches back to a man. At this point, he still has a vagina, but can simply undergo surgery, like what trans people get, in order to transform his vagina into a set of balls. This is gonna be demonetized. So if he cuts off his dick, a vagina magically appears, but if he switches back to a man, he still has a vagina? I don't know if I'm just stupid or what. No, the badge doesn't magically appear. He simply gets one from cutting off his dick and balls. Since then, the badge is what will remain. <laughs> Do you have any clue how a human vagina works, mate? <laughs> Obviously, women are just men that have had it chopped off. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. If there was a contraceptive vaccine, but after taking it, you could still get pregnant and you still had to wear a condom, would you still take it? It really is that stupid. I mean, technically, that's what the depot shot is. Nothing is ever 100% and you should still wear a condom in the off chance it does fail. So that's kind of a dumb comparison, yeah? And there's plenty of other reasons you should wear one as well, you know? Obviously, there's the whole not wanting to get pregnant thing, which is important, but there's also a variety of diseases that this can prevent happening. So all in all, this guy's just is, is a bad comparison to what I'm assuming he's comparing it to the COVID vaccine. <laughs> I thought women only queefed when they were pregnant. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, it's a, a bad state of affairs when an episode of South Park has represented women's anatomy better because there was that whole episode on South Park about queefing. It's the only episode I think I've ever seen. <laughs> School biology is really failing us as a generation. Well, not just us, not just our generation, just everyone, every generation. Abstinence is also a smart choice because it's not just babies that can attach ladies that what? Sex is an energy exchange, remember that. If you're a healing energy, you will be depleted and could be left with negative attachments that can take years to detach from. Birth control is great, but abstinence is also good for more than just freedom from pregnancy. I'm so glad to be abstinent. These are the things schools should teach. So you're saying that schools should teach that sex is bad because of energy? <laughs> So, <laughs> no, your energy belief is not backed up by any science and thus should most definitely not be taught in schools alongside actual biology and sex education. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you think making your husband a sandwich is a sin, but popping your vagina into another woman's vagina in front of the world is power, you are a lost soul. Pop popping the what into a what? What now? <laughs> but I just, I want to address the blatant straw man that she's making here, right? Because I have never seen a single person saying that making their husband a sandwich is a sin. But I have seen them saying the husband could just as easily make himself a sandwich as the wife making him one. Why should the husband get to be lazy and make the wife do all the work? I think that's the argument people are making. And arguably, sloth is one of the seven deadly sins. So, by the husband not making his own sandwich, he is sinning. Uh, <laughs> but also, <laughs> who's been putting vaginas inside other vaginas? <laughs> 
This one I just found really funny. It was posted here. Hopefully I don't have to censor anything in this. Them some real thick legs, but my favorite detail is just that her boobs just look like she's squishing two bold men against <laughs> against the motorbike. <laughs> it just it's just two bold men being crushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is a long one. That is an excellent question. The answer is, you're thinking like a man. When you fight like a man, you throw punches and try to beat your opponent into submission. Women are submissive by nature. When they fight, their objective isn't to dominate their opponent, but to defeminize them. An appropriate analogy here would be if two men were fighting, and the goal would be to try and rip off the other opponent's dick. After all, how much of a man would a man be if he didn't have one? A woman's hair is her women dick, so to speak. Women who throw punches aren't women. They are masculinized versions of women. They don't care about elegance, grace, stature, or femininity, which is why they aren't fit for relationships with real men. Hear that, women? If you actually want to win a fight, you're not a woman. <laughs> and if you win a fight, then clearly you're not ready to have a man in your life. <laughs> Oh, it's so dumb. This dude's just really, really scared that his woman's gonna be tougher than he is. I think, I think that's, he's even, how has this got more upvotes than it has downvotes as well? I hate, I hate the way some men think. It's really bad. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Turns out periods don't have to hurt. Try out our better periods box. Developed by doctors with nine vital ingredients to balance your hormones and decrease period pains. Perfected by chefs so you love every delicious bite. Wow, today I learned that period pains can just be cured by having a good diet. <laughs> really? I <laughs> Are they allowed to sell things under this pretense when it's just a blatant lie? Isn't that, you know, false advertising, which is a crime, right? Right? I love how women pretend that they're men, so they want to play dress up and wear pants just because men wear them, even though pants increase the risk of yeast infections. What? <laughs> pants do not increase the risk of yeast infections, and if that was the case, wearing pants would increase that risk in men too. I now want to use this bit of historical evidence I have prepared earlier. Trousers enter recorded history in the 6th century BC on the rock carvings and artworks of Persepolis, and with the appearance of horse-riding Eurasian nomads in Greek and ethnography. At this time, Iranian people such as Scythians, Scythians, I don't know how you say that, Samartians, uh, Sogdians, and Bactri Bactrians, among others, along with Armenians and Eastern and Central Asian people such as the Zhang Hanyu, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that, are also known to have worn trousers. Trousers are believed to have been worn by both sexes among these early users. So trousers have always been worn by women, and then men being men kind of just eliminated that and went, a woman should wear dresses and cover everything up and I will never understand how dresses for women developed to wearing an entire cage around them. Like, it's bizarre. But none of that was because of women. That was all started because of men and how they wanted women to look, right? So women have always worn trousers and have probably always wanted to wear trousers, but men haven't allowed it. So women wearing trousers is not just a modern thing, and it definitely doesn't mean that they're gonna get yeast infections. <laughs> Are you seriously saying all men are bad? SMH, wow, what makes your gender so much better? How much do you contribute to humanity? Popping out babies? Well, you need the man's seat before you can do that. And guess what? Even then, men don't need women because we can always create life through technology with our seeds. We likely already possess that technology today, cloning. But is it so much our technology, but not the aliens that control this planet? What? what? <laughs> Women, on the other hand, can't do this, because on some level, they will always depend on a man. As I said before, we have the seeds. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, but isn't this genuinely the opposite 
of the truth. Like, isn't it women that don't need men to clone, right? Fundamentally, to clone, you need the egg, right? Which comes from the woman. And they've been able to use DNA to clone from the egg, which I believe was how they cloned the sheep. So you need the woman for that, but you don't need the man. That's So it's actually the complete opposite of what this guy is saying, right? And I'm not sure where he's getting the alien technology from. But yeah, I mean, again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure you need the woman and don't need the man to clone, right? Right? This one, I'm gonna have to heavily censor, but I wanted to leave this in because why is her head so small? His <laughs> head is so small. It is so, so small compared to like the rest of her body. Just the really tiny head. I mean, even compared to, and the perspective here is really weird, but look at the size of the dudes behind her, right? Her head's like half the size of his and she's closer to the camera. That dude in the back there is a giant. <laughs> she's so small. <laughs> And the final picture. Greek yogurt is good for yeast infections. According to my doctor, literally mixing it with some water and douching it. She said apparently some studies have shown it is just as effective as clotrimazole and possibly even more effective when used with honey. I was told this a few years ago, so I don't remember the exact details. I want to now make it very known that you should not be putting anything up there and you should definitely not be putting yogurt or honey up there if you have a yeast infection. If you're putting anything with sugar up there, that's the reason that you're getting yeast infections, right? Like, obviously there are other reasons you get them, but if you're putting sugar up there, that's gonna cause it. So definitely, definitely do not put honey up there because that's gonna make things so, so much worse. Yeast eats honey, it eats sugar. This is how we get alcohol. <laughs> do not put honey and yogurt up there to help with an infection. Go to a doctor, get some proper cream, please. <laughs> People like this exist and genuinely believe it to be the truth. <laughs> how? How is the education this bad? Oh. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you want to support me in making videos like this, because this one's probably demonetized, let's be honest, then I have a Patreon in the description below, or equally you can click that join button. It helps a lot more than you might realize, guys. Currently, all of my money is going towards like travel and fixing things like this mic stand, which is falling apart and I had to order a new one. So it genuinely helps a lot if you guys uh, want to support me, but by no means feel like you have to because I'm going to keep making content regardless. Other than that, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.